nice to see the green grass and the nice temperatures. Uh, just an absolutely wonderful time of year. All the little flowers are coming up and uh, the green is replacing the brown and the buds are on the trees. It's so fun. And a little rain is good, right? April showers bring May flowers. It's lovely. You've brought in some fresh plants to give us a little bit of fresh oxygen in the yes. studio. Love yes. that. This is uh, John Slack, CEO of Boreal Agro Minerals. What is that? Uh, it's a small company that uh, I like to say produces local rocks for local crops. So we've been in the business of supplying natural mineral products to organic farmers here in southern Ontario for I guess better part of 15 years. It takes a while for a tradition uh, for a regular farm to switch over to an organic farm. Yes, and it does. You're probably there every step of the way, right? Yes, we, uh, yes, I am. Yeah, no, it's it's been a labor of love. Um, it started because I came to agriculture and transitioned to organic agriculture about 25 years ago, and um, uh, it's been nothing but passion ever since. You've brought some examples of some mm -hmm. organic farming? Yeah, the, um, these are uh, some specimens of, of plants that we're growing with our rocks. Um, so there's no traditional fertilizers in uh, these plants. So we're growing starter lettuce and starter, uh, starter heirloom tomatoes. And then these are uh, potatoes that we grew last year. So these have come out of storage. They've been sitting in storage for about... Um, Six months, six or seven months. You know, sometimes you, mm -hmm. see, you see in the uh, organic section of the produce uh, area, the, the organic stuff looks a little uh, small and shriveled. This stuff looks awesome. Uh, oh, absolutely. Um, so there is a revolution occurring. Um, uh, part of what is happening is to demonstrate that we can develop sustainable agricultural practices without polluting our water. Um, building vibrancy in our soils mm -hmm. and producing nutritional, uh, higher nutritional value crops. What are these? That is our rocks. Um, as I stated, we, we had started working with organic farmers here in Ontario, but I've spent so much time working with the community gardens that uh, they've always been after me to uh, have product available for their backyard gardens here in Toronto. So we started a retail initiative to sell our rocks to to backyard gardeners here in, in Toronto. Are they ground up the, yeah, big ones? This, okay. And what makes them unusual is it is granite. It comes from a an ancient volcanic deposit. Wow. But as you can see, it just falls apart in your hand. Look at that. Yeah. And it's got a very interesting content of minerals. There's calcium, phosphorus, potassium, magnesium, <gasps> trace elements. All and that good stuff. All that's good stuff. Now, yeah. you're, we're going to be in, able to uh, check this stuff out at the Green Living Show. Absolutely. And there's this whole new thing happening Absolutely. this year. This is very exciting. Um, it's up over here local, so that we're not oh, you're not blocked okay. by the flowers. Uh, uh, being a, a local farmer, I am very much passionate in developing a local food system. And so I work with my friends here in Toronto and uh, small farms surrounding Toronto, feeding some really good stuff into this city. And uh, um, I have to thank Laurie Simmons at uh, Green Living for, for really coming up with this concept. And she came to me and said, John, why don't we develop the first ever urban agricultural pavilion? What are we going to experience? We, you're going to experience a rooftop, uh, ideas of rooftop gardening. Um, I call it guerrilla uh, gardening. And Gorilla so gardening? This is cool. They, they've developed systems where you can take milk crates, fill them with really nice soils, and you can go into parking lots and areas that have uh, are slated for demolition or, or, or just sitting there, and you can develop uh, a container um, milk crate garden. And then we've got ideas of... Uh, um, what is happening in the city with our partners. We're involved with the uh, Black Creek Community Farm. And this is an actual functioning urban farm. And the whole concept is grow your food really close to home, cut down on travel miles, you're going to see higher nutrition, uh, you're going to see happier Because you're picking people. and eating Absolutely. right away. And, and there's an expression in the local food 
uh, groups, and we call it the three ends, and we call it naked, natural, and near. Mm. And um, so I'm really very excited about uh, what we're going to do at the Green Living Show to show this. So all of these things here have been grown with the help Absolutely. of your rocks. Absolutely. Um, it's it's a really quite an interesting subject. I mean, though it's very low tech, the whole concept of taking natural rocks and applying them to your soils. But the whole purpose is to stimulate functioning communities of soil organisms. This is interesting because we've always been taught that you have to mix manure in and you have to do uh, all sorts of other chemical fertilizers to get the results. And you're putting in ground up granite. That's correct. That's correct. And, it, and believe it or not, it is a concept that isn't new. It has been used since agricultural has existed on this planet. How do the roots pick up the minerals from the rock? Well, what's really interesting is it is a symbiotic relationship between that plant's root and soil organisms. Uh -huh. And in many cases, uh, one example I will use, we refer to it as mycorrhiza fungi. And the the fun mycorrhiza who? Uh, mycorrhiza fungi. So it's a fungus. And what it'll do, it'll actually infect that root. And what happens is uh, there's a symbiotic relationship between the plant and the organism. And the plant supplies the sugars from photosynthesis to that fungi. And the plant signals to the fungi, well, I'm going to give you all that wonderful sugar. I need some phosphorus. I need some calcium. And so that fungi will go out into the soil environment and it'll source that calcium for that plant. And the interesting thing is now we know that soil organisms can accelerate mineral weathering, like granite, one million times. So they have the capacity to access these minerals to essentially get the chemistry of life. Wow. This is very cool. And this, this is, is safer for the environment, right? Your water is cleaner. Get this, if you go and start to Google what is happening with respect to CO2 sequestration, they are now recognizing that the cycle of carbon atmospherically cannot be separated from the element silica. That means that mineral weathering is essential to the sequestration of atmospheric carbon. I was just saying that to someone the other day. Yeah. Isn't that funny? Yeah. Um, we, can we use this for anything? For our absolutely, like for our potted I've, plants, and absolutely, our flowers, mm -hmm. uh, carrots. There is not a crop that we have not put it on. Really? Uh, that goes from small fruits to uh, vineyards to root crops to corn, soybeans, um, lettuce, tomatoes, flowers. Some of our uh, best um, supporters are sophisticated horticulturalists that are doing rock gardens and right. are growing special orchids uh, or cactuses. They love this natural rock D dust. What does it do to our watering routine? Does that change? Not necessarily. Um, once you start to develop a living soil, you are going to use far less water. Living soil, I like yeah. that. Yeah. So we will actually be using less water. You will be using less water. And these big chunks are okay? That's not Absolutely. No, it's not going to affect uh, um, the quality whatsoever. What we have in the bags more or less looks like a bag of sand. Ah, and all we do is up. dig it, screen it, so it's down to a smaller size. Amazing. Yeah. This is so interesting. It is. And it we is. can uh, check these out and, of course, buy them at the Green Living Show. Get That's all the correct. details on, on how it works. And we'll see this brand new urban agriculture pavilion. I am so excited. Um, please come. It, yeah. it, you are going to meet some of the most fascinating people. Greenlivingshow.ca or borealagrominerals.com. Thank you.